The WTI was founded in 1999 to address uh, uh, the challenges of uh, globalization in law. As you know, uh, uh, these issues are not uh, largely dealt with in law schools and business schools and we found it necessary uh, to digest uh, uh, the results of the Uruguay Round um, negotiations. The WTI offers a number of teaching programs. The flagship program, of course, is the MILE program, which runs over one year with 10 months of intense teaching, uh, both by lawyers and economists. The program is essentially uh, focusing on uh, people with a uh, background in law, uh, economics or uh, international uh, relations. People who would like to go uh, into uh, diplomacy, uh, international organizations, non-governmental organizations or uh, legal practice. Before coming here I was uh, working at a research uh, organization back home in India and that is where I first got introduced to trade issues and I thought that um, being from a developing country, it would be very interesting to, to study these trade issues, to know the theoretical background. With a program like the one offered here at the WTI, you get a glimpse into all of the major issues uh, before the WTO agenda, so I thought that it was very complete in that sense. We have uh, here a good uh, infrastructure for, for the studies and uh, and the quality of the teachers that, uh, of the course is, is spectacular. I think there are various features which are special about the MIND program. First of all, as I mentioned to you, I think it's one of the few programs in the world which has a focus on international trade law. The second aspect that I find quite uh, significant about the MAL program is this combination of law, economics and trade policy, which also broaden your, your perspective. The MAL program is like learning the, learning the WTO, it's like learning a language by immersion. Uh, the uh, high degree of concentration of effort and the wide range of topics, doing it essentially non-stop means uh, students learn um, in an integrated fashion more than they could doing it episodically. We offer uh, the Summer Academy which uh, runs over five weeks uh, and uh, which can also be uh, visited on a weekly uh, basis on, on different subjects here. The Summer Academy is a very good introduction to WTO in a very short period of time. People who don't have time to do the entire mile program and can get the basics from the summer program. We offer a distance learning program which allows people to study WTO law and policy from abroad. Finally, uh, we offer uh, tailor-made courses, external programs, uh, training government officials, private sector abroad, or sometimes these people come here uh, with a special program. Uh, I think it helped my career, has helped my career crucially. When I came to the MAL program, I think my perspective changed. First of all, changed because of the you know, exposure to this international environment. And secondly, because of this very interesting mixture between law, economics and trade policy, uh, which allows you to think or to see things from a different angle. Well, it opens a lot of possibilities in, in uh, uh, development and international trade field. You can, since you, you can specialize when you write your thesis on any of the topics, you can work in international organizations, you can go into research organizations. Um, and uh, go back to your ministries and the government, so it, it definitely opens a lot of uh, doors. Miles is very well known now because there are Miles students everywhere. Everywhere I go there are Miles students. The WTO Secretariat, the appellate body, ministries of trade, companies, law firms, everywhere there are Miles students. 
it's a lot of hard work, but I think in the end you realize that it was well worth it, and I think that it opens a great deal of doors and opportunities for all its students.